My horizontal spinner 150 gram combat robot, yellow and dangerous, recently fought at the October Wollongong Robot Combat Event alongside my brand new lifter hammer saw Synergy. Having covered Synergy's development and matches, this video will address yellow's performance at the event. For the first of the three round robin fights, the luck of the draw pitted me against Hexwitch, sporting two layers of polycarbonate wedges to deflect me, and a thinner blade which had proven excellent at slicing TPU. Between Hexwitch and Subdivide, I've had a fair few matches worth of experience against Hammersaws, although I don't really have much to say other than don't get pinned. With the addition of that wedge, I'll also have to try and catch an edge or side for a good hit. Managing to drive well enough to avoid any serious damage, I put a few gouges in Trent's wedge and bent the end of his hammer arm, both of which I was given as a trophy. Following that, my round two opponent was the Harvester, the first egg beater I've faced. Being Arsenio's first bot, he was here to have some fights, some fun, and to gather failure data. Knowing the bot was made of PTG and had been having drive and spin up issues, I decided to gyro dance a little for the crowd before lining up the hit. This broke just about everything, including the welded beta. Somehow the harvester was still moving and refusing to tap out. So in for another hit I went, where my weapon tangled itself in his wires and revealed the battery. Thankfully Arsenio seemed satisfied with some big hits for the crowd, unfortunately despite having brought a printer along to make spare parts at the event, the damage to the beater just meant the harvester had to withdraw. Rounding out the round robin matches was a fight against Mr. Obvious, driven by Roz, right after I'd fought them with Synergy. Slowly, keep going, keep going up. That Okay, all the way. No. Okay, weapon's not spinning at all! Look at the wheel! Now. They made the weapon work, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. Go for it. Go for it. How did it make you so Quickly detaching both wheels, the builder Jordan gave me permission to continue, which ended up actually denting the battery through the TPU armor. So far undefeated and sitting in first, I received a buy in the quarterfinals and advanced to meet Angus of Maker's Muse and his brand new, supposedly indestructible bot, Deadcat Bounce in the semis. Having just eviscerated Synergy without issue, I was now very familiar with its damaging potential, and with that custom hub motor weighing almost as much as my own spinner, I had a real concern of it actually bending my blade.
can still fit. Oh, no, no, no. Despite the lack of hits on my part, I think that's one of my favourite fights. Narrowly avoiding a box rush, I ripped off a wheel before my weapon continued spinning right into his weapon, causing my blade to wobble, shattering a magnet while cutting and then tangling my weapon wires. This hit also resulted in my hardened steel weapon kind of smooshing the tooth of his titanium one. So while Dead Cat Bounce isn't exactly indestructible, I'm very much not either. Back and forth to the last, the gyro force of that insane vert got the better of him succumbing to the pit with two seconds on the clock. A truly nail-biting performance. With my motor's rotor no longer freely spinning and no time to swap the hardox blade to another can, I swapped in the spare I'd prepared ahead of time with my old titanium blade. I also decided to swap in a new stator while I was at it rather than solder repairs to the cut wires which would result in a slightly thicker section at the join, making it even more likely to be caught. While reassembling the weapon assembly, the tiny circlet was lost to the floor, meaning the final fight against Glenn's brand new grappler, Clamp Champ, would be with a lighter and not fully constrained weapon. One, go! For something so tiny, the circlip seems to make much more of a difference than I'd thought. Even just being deflected upwards from his wedge and forks was enough to kill the weapon. With no spinner to hide behind, Glenn's control was clear and I eventually met my fate in the pit to claim second place. I'm actually pretty proud of this showing for Yellow, since it was kind of plug and play for the majority of the day, allowing me to focus repair time on Synergy, which was very much needed. 
The rumble was good fun too, and I was able to dish out some damage to both Clamp Champ and Dead Cat Bounce. I look forward to future matches against both, although Angus seems to have plans for more wheel protection on Dead Cat, so that would make things a bit tougher for me. On the flip side, my presence and existence forcing others to adapt is kind of a win in itself. See ya.